Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back and in this video I'm gonna show you guys something real cool. Sorry, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a paid trial that moves into a subscription product with a trial, okay? So that means you could do a paid trial and then have a subscription product that has a different price. So it might be like a dollar a day. Hey, here's this great opportunity. I'll give you a full trial for one dollar for the next 30 days and then in 30 days we'll charge you the regular price of 2.97 a month or 97 a month or 47 dollars a month whatever it is that you guys want to do so that's real simple uh click funnels does not allow for this natively you cannot do this it, it, you know unless you're using some kind of code this is the updated 2021 way of doing a paid trial so uh let's do this i'm gonna go through uh probably pretty quickly so if you don't like fast videos um i guess you might have to watch it a little bit again um so that you guys can catch the gist but we're gonna create i'm, I'm on an ordered page here i'm gonna go in and create a uh a two products okay um one of them is a fixed price product okay so we're gonna use stripe by the way this won't work with paypal won't work with paypal won't work with paypal all right so we're gonna go into stripe we're gonna go in here and create a one-time product we're not going to get all fancy with emails and follow on actions and all that. We're just going to create a one time fixed price product just to keep it simple. I'm going to do a $1 trial up front and it's going to be in USD and I'll just do a little price override. And then uh, let me come down here. That was uh, literally it. We're not going to make anything a bump. We're just going to save this page and call it good. We want a uh, subscription product, but before we can do that, we need to go put it in the stripe. We're going to go do that real quick. So. Uh, what are the two things that we need to do in Stripe? We need to create uh, a live version and a test version. Uh, so what you're going to do, you're going to go into your uh, your Stripe account, and then you're going to come down here to products. Okay, You're going to click on products, and then you're going to create one. Um, so we're going to click on add product over here. And guys, this is real quick, real easy. Um, it used to be pretty complex and didn't make any sense, but we're going to name this um, my continuity program um, and then if you really want to give it a description you go right ahead down here you're just going to say standard pricing and you're going to give it a price $97 um, I would say recurring because we are working with uh, payment plans or subscriptions and it's going to be monthly although if you want it it could be yearly it could be weekly could be daily if you really wanted it to um, we're just going to go with monthly I think that's pretty uh, uh, pretty easy so the ID guys um, this says optional. It is not optional. You guys need to have the ID because we're going to copy that over to, um, what are we going to copy it over to? The, the test data area. And we need that to be in there. That's what connects these two products together so that you can test this to make sure it works. So you can make something up. You can write it in. You can put a little dash in there. Don't put any spaces. Um, I'm just going to put in some numbers and then I'm going to copy that. And then what we, would, what we would do is hit save product. Um, we're going to go to test data. I'm going to go through this one more time because we do this twice. Okay, we have to add this in live. We have to add this in test data. So many folks that I talk to miss this test data part. And then when they go to test it, it doesn't work. Or they put it in like a different price and test version and a different price in live. And it doesn't work. Guys, identical. Make them the same. Use the same ID, the same title, the same price. Same everything. So you come over here, you go price. We're going to call it my continuity program. We're going to come down here. We're going to go standard pricing. Price is 97 recurring monthly. And what am I going to do with the ID? It's going to be the exact same as the other one. So I just copied it over. That is it. All right. But the only difference is that it is in test data. And this little ID connects the two of them uh, as far as Stripe, or, I'm sorry, as far as ClickFunnels is concerned. So let's call that, um, let's call that good. Let's get out of here. And uh, I've created enough of these that I'll be able to pick one from ClickFunnel uh, from ClickFunnels side. So what's happening, when I go back to ClickFunnels, we're going to add a product here. And uh, we're going to go to Stripe. We're going to go to Subscription. And then uh, we're going to go to Save and Next. Um, notice that's the only difference. I did it one time and then I did a subscription. We're going to call this the subscription part. If I could, subscription part. Um, optional, you can put a price override in here. Might need to be like uh, $97 a month or whatever you want to put in here. And then you would do 
uh, don't worry about uh, once you start adding this stuff you have to finish that we're gonna put the stripe plan uh, remember I said all that stuff that was in there this is all the same stuff that's oops wrong place over here right that's all the same stuff it's over here. So what we're gonna do is grab the $97 plan, if I can figure out which one it was. And if you wanna do the rest of this, you go right ahead. We're gonna do a trial period, guys. 30 days, so it's $1 up front. After 30 days, it's $97 a month. So we're gonna do 30. If you wanna do a seven day trial, do a seven day paid trial. You want a 30 day paid trial, put 30 here. For testing, if you guys wanna run a test and make sure that it works, I would recommend maybe like a one day trial. So that way you can go back and test it the next day. So that's it, 30 day trial. All right, so now that we have our products in there, um, this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, my initial charge, $1, the subscription part, I said party, the subscription party, it was supposed to say part, but whatever. It's a party up in here, let's make it happen. So that's $97 every month, all right? And these numbers are actually coming from Stripe over here, same. Um, that's pretty cool. All right, so what we're going to do now is actually we're, we need to take the uh, IDs for these and put them into a third-party program, which is CF Pro Tools. We're using CF Pro Tools uh, for the next part. So if you guys aren't familiar with them, um, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check them out. We're going to be using uh, one of their add-ons. They have add-on scripts um, that you can use to make click funnels do things that they don't do natively or they don't do out of the box. So... Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what that looks like over here. So we're going to click create new up here and we're going to create a forced. I'm actually only because I've got two products. Um, I'm going to do forced products. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a forced product and all we need is a product ID. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a product ID. The one I want to force into the cart is the subscription party. All right. So we're going to come over here, copy that link address, come back over here and we are going to force that sucker into the cart. It puts the product ID right in there. We're gonna create a script, and I'm gonna copy that right back on over into ClickFunnels. All right, so I'm gonna come back here. We're gonna go in and edit the page. We're gonna get into the fun stuff. If I remember correctly, we go into tracking code. We go into the footer code. There's nothing there. We just add that in. Now I'm gonna put some space up here because I do need to put it the uh, order summary in order for this to work properly um, and stick that in here and uh, that's all it looks like just a couple little scripts and I'm gonna click save guys that was actually all we had to do um, let's hit the preview button and there it is uh, my initial charge product for one dollar um, and then a credit card all that stuff oh uh, you know what it doesn't actually have an order summary let's go add one in real quick you can see it's forced into the cart. It worked great. It does say uh, $1 for the initial charge and then the subscription party, it says 97. Um, so it's a little confusing because it's like, hmm, is that charging $97 right now or is that gonna charge $97 later? So let's, uh, maybe we do some tests. Let's go check out that product, make sure we set that up correctly. Okay, here it is. So I'm gonna copy the ad link address here and we're going to add a product price override, okay? So what we wanna do is put um, that product ID in for that product that was $97, and we wanna say it's zero, okay? It's gonna say free price display, we want this to say free for 30 days. Okay, that's what we want that to say. All right, so we're gonna come down here, click update add-on, um, but let's come back in here to the overview and t uh, check this page, and we'll go through and test it real quick. Okay, so I've got my $1, uh, there it is, it actually works. So my initial charge product is $1, the subscription party. The subscription part is free for 30 days and the order total is $1, okay? That's awesome. Let's take a, and do a, let's run through a quick test on this one. I forgot to put a Gmail. Why don't you guys catch me on that, guys? Come on. We should find that in our sales. Uh, there it is, amount 97. Let's look at the details for this. So you can see where it charged $1. And then uh, it also, it looks like it charged the 97, uh, but it really didn't. Let's go back over here and look at the uh, test data. So you can see there was a dollar at Hello Dolly. So if you go to customers, you go to subscriptions, I look at uh, Hello Dolly, and it looks like I'm on a uh, 30 day trial. So trial ends April 27th for my new continuity program. That means that that part took place. If I go in here 
and click on Hello Dolly, I can see the information for this particular customer. Um, and it should show that I'm on a, a subscription and that $1 was charged out today. So this is perfect. Um, everything worked out. It was a little confusing when you look at the sales data in ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels doesn't really know how to look at that, but it takes into account the fact that um, as long as that person lasts through the 30-day trial, you should have gotten paid the $97. So it will take that into consideration. All right, congratulations. You made it to the end of this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If uh, you guys haven't used CF Pro Tools, I highly recommend going and checking that out. I'll leave a link down in the description. If you guys are already using uh, ClickFunnels, which I assume if you're watching this video, you guys are definitely ClickFunnels users at this point. Um, but if you'd like to save 44% off of ClickFunnels, that's about $800 off of the Platinum plan. I will leave a link down in the description so that you guys can go check that out and save yourself a little bit of money. If you guys are long-term ClickFunnels users, it's an amazing deal. All right, if you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.